hello guys welcome to our new video today we are going to see how to create schematics and symbols and also test those created ones in the virtue zoo by creating simple logic gates before getting into the video make sure you are subscribed to crack for learning channel so let's get into our video hope you all know how to turn on this vmware so now let's get into our virtuoso first we have to open terminal and type virtuoso ampersand enter oh spelling mistake control c virtuoso So here is the virtuoso tool. So now let's create a basic schematic for inverter using PMOS and NMOS. So first we are going to create our own library. Uh, you can name it by anything. And choose attach an existing library existing technology library and hit and OK and here you are going to choose GPDK 90 and hit OK and then your library is created now you are going to create your file where you are going to create that schematic so I am giving it a name as I inverted and hit and OK make sure you have chosen the uh, library which you have created so yeah this is the editor window so here I am going to create a basic inverter schematic for taking PMOS and MOS you can go here and choose this option right here or else on keyboard you can click I it opens the instance so you are going to open the open GPDK 90 which I have chosen earlier under cell you are taking NMOS one volt which has four terminals similarly I am going to take PMOS and uh, and I am going to choose wire to connect these terminals here is the options where you can uh, create a wire or else in keyboard you can directly type W so that the wire is created and connect as I am showing hope you know how this inverter works and make sure that in this 4 terminal transistor I am connecting this body terminal to the source on both the hands PMOS and NMOS and now I am going to create pins the direction is I am choosing input right and yeah and direction as output you could create multiple pins at a time which are of same direction by giving space in between the names and G and D for VDD and G, G uh, ground I'm always choosing out input and output direction so yeah I'm going to choose like this after uh, creating the schematic click check and save right it's right here under the file and yeah there is no error you could see error if I have created in this way and I have clicked check and save you could see that, that there are two warnings if you are unable to see where the, those errors are then you could uh, go check here and then find marker or else you could press G in the keyboard and you could choose the, uh, here there will be the display of errors so you could find out this by clicking on this you will find that 
a highlighter with violet color is shown yep so now i am going to create a symbol of inverter from this schematic so to create the symbol i am going uh, under the create option cell view from cell view don't change anything in the first window and hit ok and then you are going to choose which pin should be in which side of your symbol so i'm going to remove this ground and keeping under bottom pins make sure the symbol uh, pin name is same as your pins which you have listed here after giving the pin specifications i'm hitting ok and yeah here is your symbol if you want to be more creative you could delete all this and create an uh, inverter i hit the delete key and deleted all those boxes uh, and select this and click r to rotate this similarly i'm going to do and yep now i'm going to create an inverter symbol here is the stick symbol which i'm going to choose you could uh, you could select it randomly it's your choice to create however you are going to create this for the bubble one i'm going to choose this option to change this name you could press, uh, click double click after creating the symbol make sure that you click check and save and yeah you could find that there are no errors present in this so now you could uh, remove this and create a new file where we are going to test that symbol cell view inverter underscore db okay now i am going to take that symbol which is in my library so i am choosing my library from library option and you could see inverter yep here is a symbol which i have created earlier now i am going to give inputs which are present in analog library for inputs uh, constant inputs i am going to choose v pulse here you could see the symbol which is not showing so if it is not showing just click on the symbol it will be showing then hide okay now ground ground and symbol hide for vd vdd i am giving vdc i am connecting with respect to the make sure that you don't connect the ground pins directly at a single point make sure you are connecting this ground one to different point there is no issue with the same names present uh, at this end and this end so it's your own wish to create this any name now i'm going to give the values for it so voltage 1 0 volts and uh, second voltage i'm going to give 1.8 remove everything so i'm giving 1.8 and remove the v also it will automatically give the voltage and period i'm going to choose 100 nanoseconds 
I'm not giving seconds by the way. I'm giving only 100 N. It will automatically take with the space. Delay time I'm not giving anything. Raise time and fall time I'm giving 50 picoseconds and fall time also 50 picoseconds. Pulse width I'm giving 50 nano which is half of the period and I'm okay now for VDC just so for VDC I'm giving 1.8 under the DC voltage station section and hit ok and click check and save yep there is no uh, there is no error in this so I'm going to vi uh, visually see my graph values so for that I'm clicking launch launch in the top left corner then first option ADEL and under the analysis box I'm clicking right click edit and uh, for now I'm creating a transient analysis S stop time is your wish based on the period you have taken so I'm taking 500 nanoseconds okay hit okay and then and under outputs you are going to take uh, right click and edit and from design you are going to take the graph under which you are drawing input versus output I am going to choose this net value wires input and output again going to ADLE after doing all this click this save after this make sure uh, just go to setup and model libraries and just make sure that you have only a single box ticked where this gptk90 is there it, it would be gptk45 just don't tick those things and hit apply ok just you are good to go just click on this run <coughs> here both input and output are combinedly came so I want to separate this by clicking this third option yeah here you can see V out and V in when I'm getting uh, when I'm giving one and I'm getting output zero when I'm getting zero output is one so this is how the inverter symbol and schematic is created and if you want to see the schematic of this symbol just click on this symbol symbol and click shift E shift plus E here you get a pop-up that that then choose the schematic under this view section and hit ok here you go you can see the schematic under that symbol and if you want to again go back to it uh, to the symbol then you could just click on this part this up symbol or else you could click ctrl E so yeah this is how the inverter symbol and schematic are created and also tested hope this is clear to you all if any doubts are there please comment down I will be going to reply each and every person and also make sure that you have subscribed to our channel crack for learning and 